Right now, we are planning the competition. It's starting in like 45 minutes. People are already showing up to the sauce a -thon. The whole point of this competition is what's on this table. And not only have we not done it yet, but I hardly even have an idea of what we're doing. We don't have a plan. The competition that no one has been told up to this point is line following robots. I know that sounds really cool. This is my example line following robot. I built it in, in 30 minutes last night. Everyone's gonna make one of these, but hopefully less shitty. The way this works is you plug it in. There's an Arduino, a motor controller, some batteries, two motors, and two infrared sensors. The infrared sensors bounce infrared light off a surface and then detect it. And depending on how much light's detected, it's a threshold that turns on and up. So if you put your robot over the line, it just completely doesn't work at all. My line falling robot is so crappy, Aaron. It doesn't work at all. It worked the other day, but it's all cardboard. It just gets, it's sad. Oh, you know what? Oh shit, it's the daylight. <laughs> oh fuck. Uh, you get the point? I swear to God, you'll see something working later. T minus 15 minutes. We have 15 minutes to build our entire <laughs> course. I'm excited for this one because you're gonna have to drive your robot over the pit of doom. When did we get that name? Pit of doom? Yeah. What do you want to call it? Do you have a better name? The pit of coom? Uh, oh, I forgot. We stopped. We don't do cum jokes anymore. The whole idea is the challenges progress so that anyone doing this competition has the ability to scale what they think they can do. Because line following robots are honestly pretty easy. You gotta think about how line following robots typically work, how somebody would solve that, and then do the exact opposite to make their life a nightmare. This is like a classic test for line following robots is an intersection like this because at any other intersection, you know, you might want to turn left, you might want to turn right, maybe it's a T. You guys get mad at me when I fix my car. When I try to fix my car, I still haven't smugged it. You guys get mad at me when I dig a hole in my backyard. Okay, fine. Fine, I'll, we'll just go do the only thing that I know how to do without pissing you guys What's off. This? We'll do the only thing I don't get in trouble for. Uh, uh, I, I bought more stuff on Facebook Marketplace. I'm buying a laptop for my mom. Isn't that exciting? What do you mean no? You don't like the, you don't like when we buy stuff on Facebook Marketplace? Update, things are going great. Us being totally super fucking late doesn't matter at all. Look at the, the competitors of the Sausathon are building the whiteboards for us. This is my favorite one. I absolutely am so excited about this red line right here. It's gonna get a lot of people into a lot of trouble. That's fucked. That's fucked. That's fucked. But this is pretty far into it. So the infrared light of the photo detectors is obviously close to red and the red reflects the infrared light, and so the robots with the stock sensor cannot differentiate between red and white. All right, everybody that is participating and would like to learn what's going on should come here and listen. All right, I'm not gonna talk with this. Welcome to the sauce -thon. I wanted to do a hackathon, and there's not a lot happening, and so we did it ourselves. This is a line-following course. Part of the reason we didn't tell you what it was in advance is because I thought you might think it was lame. That's why it scales in ambition. You you can build a really basic robot in like 30 minutes using a couple of infrared sensors, some motors, a microprocessor. Look at that, it's great, right? God damn it. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I don't know what skill set you guys have or the variety of skill sets. I'm, I'm really hoping that you guys are able to accomplish something and learn a lot in this next 24 hours. Um, and yeah, have fun. I mean, that's, that's what this is. I did it, you guys. I got a laptop for my mom for $200. I take my car to Jiffy Lube, but I don't trust these fuckers. So we're gonna go to that Wendy's right there. We're gonna sit and we're gonna spy and make sure they actually change my oil and that they don't even dare take my car for a, a single test spin. Oh shit, he's in it right now. Do you see it? I can't, I can, can you see it? Can you see it? I don't see it. If he shits in the driver's seat, Nobody shits in my car with me. Nobody. Speaking of shits, which one's the hot one? So I started printing something on that printer. I fucking come back, it says print failed. I'm like, oh, that's weird. There's no USB stick. Oh, that's why the print failed. Someone took our fucking USB stick. So I went around to all the tables. I was asking, do you, do you take a USB stick mid print? And then fucking no one's, no one's, everyone said no. And then I came back and there's a USB stick in there printing something else. Okay. They're still, they're encroaching on our turf. So now they have to come get it. Is that your part? I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Son of a bitch, you cleared the stuff off. There was stuff on that. There was. You admit it. You stab him or what? I will, I will do whatever you want. Ooh. 
Smash don't say that. <laughs> Step on it right now. Smash it on the Step, smash it on the <laughs> Things are going excellent. Our son, Tommy, and our my son, it's going very well. How many hours? That's not the right time. I've been up for like 27 hours. And it's fast, it's fast as fuck. It rips. All right, go, robot, go. You fucker. <laughs> so we build the sensor. It's uh, five RGB LEDs and five photoresistors. And what it does is it flashes the RGB LEDs in sequence between red, green, blue. And then it captures the exposure, how much light is reflecting onto the sensors. And then it calculates the, um, the average. This robot actually works really well if you, if you don't care about anything else. You just make it travel on a black line, on a white background, it works great. The instant you try to take care of any other edge cases, that's, that's when all the bad things start happening. We can get this to work. We're going home with $12 million cash and beans. Slower robot, but it, it's accurate, but it's slow. How many points do they have so far? Zero. Oh, that's a five. They're at oh. five. Five points. Already number one. That's right, first place. Oh, so is it close? Almost derailed. Oh, it's My predictions is this has been like a pretty solid robot. It's like slow but steady. I think this is one of my favorite robots I've seen today. I've only seen two, but this is sick though. It's got a robot on top of a robot. It's made out of a pizza box for Christ's sake. I want to see what happens to get that second robot active though. named Turbo Nut. Turbo Nut, because he likes to go nuts. This robot is so good. Arming the bomb. <laughs> what's what? How? What's gonna happen? We have a uh, like a revolver that shoots that's that uses capacitors as bullets. So it just charges the capacitors backwards and it makes it explode. Uh, uh, like what is this supposed to be shooting? And the answer is we never got that far. So it just <laughs> yeah, it just, it just oh, shoots yeah. every 15 seconds.
No, I'm just gonna, I got your computer. The computer you wanted. Aw, oh, thank you. If you could cry or something, that'd be great. I'd cry. <laughs> Tears of joy. And then also, you can have my old printer. Are you serious? Yeah, I'm, I'm not doing this out of the goodness of my heart. I like actually genuinely have too many 3D printers, so. You, wait, you're not doing it out of the goodness of No. Are you serious? Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. At the end of the videos, the, the both storylines merge into one cohesive narrative. It's crazy how that works. No, that one didn't make any sense at all, did it? Do I call it Saucathon or Hackathon? Thank you to PCPWay for sponsoring the Hackathon and to Prusa Research and and to Prusa Research for giving us five 3D printers for all the uh, competitors to use. So we're going to be bringing those printers around for the future ones we do. Which, if you want to find out about those, there's a link in the description to sign up for the mailing list. So we'll send you sign-up information. Are you going to go next time, Popipo? You want to go next time? I love you.